It was a dark and stormy night, deep in the highlands of Scotland. The wind swept off the Atlantic, leaving a mystical scent of salt and brine in the air. Even though it was the heart of summer, there was a different feeling in the small remote village of Drumbeg. The McLean family were expecting their first child. Riley McLean was born on the 24th of July, and as the story goes, he came out hands first. Weighing in at just over nine pounds, he was a big boy with a lush, dark brown head of hair. At just seven months, young Riley was already starting to walk, but one incredible day, his mother was bringing his bottle. She stumbled and the bottle went flying through the air. Riley stuck out his hand and caught the bottle, leaving his parents stunned. Was this a sign for the future? By the age of six, Riley was always the first one on the football pitch, taking the gloves and not allowing anyone else to be the keeper. He was by no means the best, but he always knew with work and patience, one day he would live out his dream. He was going to win the Champions League. Riley McLean tried out for Ross County FC under 12s on the eve of his 11th birthday. Securing a scholarship goalkeeping position, the family moved to Dingwall to pursue Riley's dreams. He spent the next few years working on his goalkeeping craft, breaking through to the under 18 side at just 15. A 16 year old McLean was starting to become a man, standing 6'6 and 85 kilos, he was a big unit of a lad. The scouts from Sutton United came to watch him play and he was signed to the Sutton Academy. The Sutton goalkeeper situation was dire and the new manager Fabio decided to take a chance on the young keeper. He signed his first team contract at just 16. Riley spent four years with Sutton United, helping them secure promotion, but with mixed form. When a new young and upcoming keeper from England joined the squad, McLean knew it was time to look for more opportunities. He made the move to West Ham, Premier League experience, and the hope of making it to the Champions League. A twist of fate saw his former manager make the move to Crystal Palace after winning the Champions League with Sutton. Fabio was the man that gave him his first real chance, and when the phone rang, he answered the call. McLean made the move to rejoin Fabio at Crystal Palace, knowing he was closer to his dream of playing in the Champions League. His first two seasons with Palace were a bit up and down, but Fabio saw the potential his scouts had spotted all those years ago, and in his third season would be his best. 31 clean sheets in all competitions, quad champions, and team captain. Riley McLean had achieved everything he ever wanted on the pitch with over 300 appearances by the age of 26, and just like that, in his prime, he hung up the boots. There must be something more. After a few years back on the family farm, Riley started to get that itch again, but not to play, to teach. He took a part-time goalkeeping coaching role at his childhood club of Ross County, developing young Scottish keepers of the future. But it wasn't long before clubs started sniffing around, and then the phone rang. A manager role was offered, Riley accepted. The next chapter was about to begin. Riley McLean was signed on as the Bromley FC manager for the 24-25 season, and in his first press conference, he outlaid his vision. Build on what he had seen his previous manager Fabio succeed with, develop youth academy players into a squad to dominate world football. The path won't be easy, but that's the challenge. And now it's time for the Youth Edition 2025, coming soon.